Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So dear Dhamma practitioners, you all like to find the wisdom and every day through this all the practice, one of the main purpose is gaining the wisdom. So when it comes to the wisdom, it is not the information we accumulate, it is deeper our self-realization regarding our own inner experience. So when it comes to that inner experience, that you have to be very clear with what you feel. If you cannot recognize that, you cannot go beyond the feelings. But in day to day, we have uh, this habit to ask from others and always get the help out of others. But what the Buddha said, you have to come to a point to observe yourself. Of course, in the beginning, it's kind of like a difficult because asking something is uh, very easy. And uh, following somebody is easy. But when it comes to realization or the wisdom or the panya, is nothing to do with that. In the beginning as a practitioners, for a certain level to gain this to ourselves, we have to, to follow the Dharma. But that doesn't mean just following Dharma, you're going to gain the, the liberation. You have, to, you have to practice yourself. You have to develop your mind and you have to understand yourself. So it's, it's kind of like this. Just imagine you, you know where you put your key, car key or your door key or so any key, just imagine, you know where you put it. And how about if you ask from others, what they're going to say? They will say whatever come to their mind. Oh, maybe you put it there. Maybe you drop it there. Oh, look, maybe it is there. So like that. But if you know yourself, it's very easy. You, whenever necessary, you put your hand and you get it. But if you don't know where you put, Maybe you ask from others and you go here and there and you miss the opportunity. So when it comes to knowingly what you should know. So what the Buddha mentioned as the world, as the sansara, as the life. It's about all your five aggregates. Form, feelings, form, perceptions, and volition or the formation and recognition or the consciousness. This is what you are going to experience eons by eons when you had a life. Even you went to heaven or the hell or in between, wherever, this is what you experience. And today as a human being in this very existence, that is what you're experiencing. You, there is nothing beyond that you experience as a conventional life. Form means all the perception come to your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind as the eye object, ear object, nose object, tongue object, body object, and mind object. Those are called forms. And when it come to you, what happened? There are feelings going to arise. 
that feelings related to that place, the whatever come to your eye, and with that, then there are feel that with that forms there are feelings going to arise, and with the ear in that place feelings going to arise, in nose the feelings going to arise, in your tongue feelings going to arise, in your body feelings going to arise, in your mind feelings going to arise. There is. That beyond that six faculties, there is nothing you can experience. So then maybe you, you want whatever you experience, finally, that is what going to be with you. So that's why the Buddha mentioned, observe that and recognize and see what is happening. And when you observe, you will see moment by moment with your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind. So whatever the forms arise, whatever the feelings arise, whatever the, the perceptions come to you out of that feelings, whatever the volitions or the, the formations arise, sanskara arise in you, and out of that, whatever the consciousness arise in you, always change, always change. There is nothing that you can repeat or reverse. Only you have moment of experience. That is the only thing you have. So we, if you able to settle down with that and experience it just for a moment, and see what is happening. And then you're going to go beyond the, the forms, feelings, formations, perception, volitions, and the recognition. You're not going to stuck with the recognition. You go beyond that. When you go beyond the recognition, you not belong to sansara. So if you stuck with the form, if you out of that form, if you stuck with the feelings, out of that feeling, if you stuck with the perception, out of that perception, if you stuck with the volition or the formations, out of that formations or the volitions, if you stuck with your consciousness, you are in the sansara. So that is what you, you have, that is what who you are. Look at yourself. So maybe you, you, you think about your life, what does that mean? Whatever form or that mean, whatever the, all the, the object came to your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind. There is nothing in that beyond that you, you can see, see something or think something. And then regarding your future, what, what you're projecting, all the forms related to this all the this all the, 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 the mechanism. All the form related to your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind. There is nothing you going you can bring that to think. Why? Because you're living with that. So recognizing that is the, the self-realization. And when you observe that what is happening, the forms arising itself, not with the superpower or help or not with because of you pray, nothing to do with your identity, nothing to do with your personality, nothing to do with your gender, nothing to do with your uh, nationality. So whatever the form arise with your eye, in that very moment, in that I, that form disappear. So remember this, whatever arise in your ear as sound, in that very moment, in that ear, it will disappear. It's not going to go somewhere and disappear. No, in that very place, it's going to disappear. Nose, so whatever aromas arise in that nose, in that very place, it will disappear. 
tongue taste in that very place it will disappear sensation in that very place arising it will disappear and the, the mind thought in that mind it will arise it's not going to disappear in another one mind no in your own mind it will disappear so when it disappear if you don't see it what happened when you hold it to that whatever the the form then the out of that form the feelings arise so if you don't see how the feelings arise and how the feelings disappear then you attach to that and then the the perception if you don't see it disappear you start to attach the, that attachment is uh, itself created by your mind following thoughts you you cannot you cannot have any kind of form feeling for perception volition or awareness twice why because in that very place it arises in that very moment it disappears but the the mind itself has power to project it again and again again and again so as a result of that what happening we give we go in that way we following in that way we create life around that experience and that, that is what we we all living so then when it come to you where you should start so when you cannot recognize this that is what called ignorance in buddhism not all the mathematics or the science or not that you cannot get any kind of uh, the the marks for any subject not not that conventional level of knowledge so not knowing this reason is called ignorance and then why it happened that is what we are going to talk about today why it happened to us so the ignorance or the ignorant come out of ignore so ignore is a kind of like a intentionally you drop the attention so because you are busy with something and then you don't put the attention so it it is a intentional action ignore it is not happened by mistake listen this very carefully your your ignorance is a not it is not a mistake so ignorance come out of the the ignoring so why you ignore you ignore because you are focusing to something else and intentionally you skip from the moment so there is a person that you don't you don't want to meet that person so then what you what you 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 ignore that person you do it consciously so then why this happened to us then and because of the whatever the attachment that we carry and because of that attachment we ignore the the truth the reality whatever happening in this very moment so that is why you are responsible for that and once it once you do it again and again and again and again 
it's a kind of like uh, your mind is start to work like autopilot. And then ignoring is a kind of like a become a passion. Ignoring become kind of like a attitude. Ignoring become kind of like a your lifestyle. Ignoring is become kind of like your identity. And as a result of that, what is happening? You become ignorance. So then what you missing, what you, what you ignore, what you ignore is your, the very present moment of experience. Why it happened to us? Because we projecting to something or we tangle with our past experience. As a result of that, then we miss this point. So then remember now, if you intensely ignore something, remember that is the beginning of your ignorance. And sometimes it happened because of the fear, because of lack, lack of confidence. And maybe you have a high, different higher desire. But remember, when there is a moment come, don't ignore. Go for it. Even you die, go for it. Don't ignore. Look at the all the enlightened masters. Look at the wise people in the history. And you, you believe they are like wise, but you don't want to follow what they did. We follow our own method. We believe they are, they are wise, better than us. But when it comes to reality, we don't want to do what they did. We do, we do our own way. See? And then in day-to-day -day life, remember, the very first thing, when a situation comes, don't have intention to ignore. Have an intention to put the attention. Now you reverse the pattern. Now you investing your thoughts to gain the wisdom because that you, you use the thought if you ignore any situation, anything. Even, even, even in, the, in the kind of like, a, just imagine, you put the alarm to wake up early in the morning. Not every day, maybe once a while even. Now, you went to sleep with the intention to wake up and now you know alarm going to ring. And then when the alarm ring, if you ignore your ignorance. See, that, that, that is how you feed into that. It is that much simple. So in day-to-day -day life, if you feel hungry, so hungry, your body feels thirsty, hungry, you ignore. And that is a become a result of ignorance. See, this is nothing to do with any, any kind of, you know, the chanting or any kind of, you know, uh, the, the, the secret dharma is nothing to do. You just, you just tune to the, the moment. And maybe you feel so sleepy, so tired, and you ignore it. And that is where the ignorance facilitate, arise. You feed to ignorance. So then from today, Remember, it doesn't matter whatever you do. And first start to, to, to tune to your body and recognize. And see what you feel. And you don't need to overfeed that. But at least you have to remember to recognize that. 
And that is what a very use of the call Kaya Anupasana, Vedana Anupasana. You know, that again we go to the Satipatthana. But in day-to-day -day life, forget about meditation. It's nothing to do with the meditation. Just tune to your body. Don't ignore. At least yourself. And once you start to practice that, you're going to understand, oh, when I see it, rather than ignoring, it is more easy to get out of it. It is more comfortable. It is more peaceful. It's like the river. You know, the river, river come through the higher mountains and over the lands, you know, the, the hills. And it's go everywhere, you know, nourishing all the, the trees and giving water to people, animals and and cleaning all the cities. But when it comes closer to the ocean, it feels so afraid. Oh, I am this river. How am I going to merge with this huge ocean? How I can survive with it? And it, the current, when, when it comes closer to the river, it's, it's so difficult for the river. And sometimes that's why people, you know, go and see how the, the river and the ocean come together. With the, because the current itself try to reverse, but it cannot. So, and the, the, then the river is kind of like, uh, you know, get panic. How are, how are I going to, you know, survive with this? But how about once it is start to mix with the ocean water, it, it feel infinity. And it feel kind of like the, you know, the, the freedom and the boundless. The same thing with you, when you don't ignore, you start to recognize the beauty of acceptance. Anything. Why? Because that is the beginning of wisdom. So don't don't, don't afraid. Don't afraid for anything in your life. Take that fully responsibility from today. Remember, you are. I'm not afraid for anything. What other can do for you? Nothing. They get panic. You know, if you decide, if you initiate yourself. I'm not, not afraid for anything from today around you people get panic. That is the only thing can happen. Why? Because other people like when you are afraid, when you fail, when you sad, when you worry, when you cry, other people smile deeply in their heart. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You know. So initiate yourself. Rather than escaping you're going to accept any situation, anything. Then we know, you know, even the suffering. Look at the, all the Buddhas, eons by eons, all the Buddhas come to world. And what tells us? So life is suffering. So you initiate from today yourself. I'm, I'm going to accept any suffering to in my life. Done. You are done. Nothing can have, you know, nothing can hurt you if you if you can accept it. So that is what happens when you don't ignore, because what happened through in day-to-day -day life, we learn to ignore little, little, little things. It is start from us. And that is where the ignorance start to grow inside. And then little by little, little by little, once it become a habit, pattern, it overtake our life. So then remember, teach your children and practice yourself in day-to-day -day life with whatever the situation. Don't find any word to ignore. If there is a conversation, go into the depth of that and have that conversation. Get into the bottom of it. 
don't don't go here and there get into the bottom of it right away and any situation come address to the the bottom of situation don't go don't go here and there you know don't do head massage no practice that and you will see how it work for you when a situation come sometimes we take days months to address to that we know we know each other sometimes something happened no one want to talk and what happening everybody ignoring ignoring not only that mentally you know have the chattering and conversation themselves and the situation become worst if there is something you know don't ignore and that is the you will see if you start to practice that and practice with your body and then you will see that is where you can handle this your body because now you know how it work and sometimes we know we ask how are you we ask from others and sometimes sometimes we don't know who i am you know but we we like to ask how are you so first learn to learn yourself and know who you are so prove that don't ignore and there is another exercise for that so now you know how to address to your ignorance and get into the get into the right place get into the depth get into the bottom any situation little by little little by little start to practice and then another thing is we always projecting to past and the future and the because of that this thought pattern already like a chain already like a network build up to the past and the future so then there is no gap in between your action reactions and result there is no gap so what you need because of that the, the, this current keep coming with us so then you need a gap in between your thoughts and your actions that is where your creativity going to grow you whatever come to your mind whatever then the reactions come you just you know you just keep doing things and whatever action you just react bodily verbally mentally action happen around us you just react no start to to hold this bit in that very moment to hold that you need the consciousness otherwise you cannot hold it if there is no consciousness if there is no awareness you cannot hold your action see that i holding itself create the you giving spark ignite your wisdom so in that very moment what happen your creativity start to spark ignite so once little by little once you develop that pattern you start to create a gap in between your thoughts and action thoughts and action perception and action reaction perception and reactions in a certain level in the middle you create that you give the birth to awareness what will happen rather than your thoughts rather than the perception your awareness become stronger 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 once your awareness become stronger doesn't matter whatever the perception doesn't matter whatever the thoughts related to sanskara or the volition or the history that you carry in you it cannot play the role why because in the middle you have awareness like the judge look at that you know the this uh, 
heavyweight boxing people. You know, they are in the two corners. But maybe they, like a lily pot, little judge in the middle, you know, like this wrestling people. There's a little, you know, little man. But if he's the judge, forget about that. It doesn't matter how big are the guy. So you have to listen to the judge. Coach, referee. So like that, keep your awareness as the referee. Why? Because this is a huge boxing game. How, you know, that is what we experience every day in our head with the, the, all the perception come to us. This is kind of like a wrestling game every day. So keep your awareness and create the gap in the beginning and keep your awareness, let the awareness to grow. And when you create the gap itself, your awareness grow. That is the beginning of your wisdom. And when it become bigger, 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 that means the referee, coach, judge going to become stronger. And then it doesn't matter whatever the perception come and it doesn't matter whatever the, the thought related to us, you're going to be okay. So, so these two methods, if you synchronize, right away you will see how it's going to work for you. So what are the two methods? One is without, igno without igno ignoring, without escaping from intensely. You, uh, you, you initiate yourself, you're going to accept it. No matter what, you, maybe you die, it's okay. Look at uh, the people die everywhere. If you die for dharma, you're going to born with the dharma. Then the next time, it never going to happen to you. We are what, hap what, what, what happened to in our sansara because we used to escape. That's why it's keep coming behind us. All this suffering, difficulties, pain, you know, everything. We escape. That is the ignorance. That is why it keeps chasing us. But if you today decide yourself, initiate yourself, are going to accept it. You will see tomorrow what happened to that. It's going to get panic and disappear from you. So the sons are the same. And that is where you're going to give birth to wisdom. So from that point, how you can develop the wisdom, grow in conventional level and create a gap in between your thoughts and your action. Reaction and action, create a gap. Hold a little bit. Like in between your inhalation, exhalation, like there is a gap. And you know, if you go to London, subway, what they mostly say, mind the gap. Mind the gap. When, when, when I go and the first time I go, sometimes, you know, I, I was uh, sitting somewhere and listening that to that. You know? It's all the subway stations, you know, to always say, mind the gap. Mind the gap. You know, so then remember yourself. Gap your mind. Keep the gap in your mind with your actions. You will see. You're going to, you're going to see it yourself. That, because this is nothing to do with that. What is that is the method that that that, that we practice thousand thousand years. So that is what you need to learn yourself. And once you get it, then you know how to work with it. And then you know who you are. That understanding is well called the self-realization. So this is not difficult. Only thing that you need the, the faith to go towards that way. Only, only thing in day-to-day -day life, not just more, you know, in the evening or morning, you just sit for meditation. No, in day-to-day -day life, when you do other things, you have to have little intention to, to apply this to your other activities.
because when you sit for meditation somehow you're going to you're going to be there you know because uh, uh, because the i'm in front of your camera where the your computer or cell phone or maybe it, you know we 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 somehow manage to do the class but this is nothing to do with the class after the class in day to day life play the game play play little by little apply this and see what that monk told is it work look yourself get the taste out of your your own practice then you will see how it work that what you understand you not going to get out of anywhere with the, any books so you are capable for that there is no one you know can beat you with that ability that's what the buddha address that's why people hate the buddha that's why people angry with the buddha even today you know there are some people if they see the buddha statue they get panic you know even they hear the buddha you know they don't like and sometimes we go to this uh, nowadays this interfaith you know conversations we have when they, when they see the buddha when they see the monks they get panic why because they don't like to hear this they don't like to hear you have power there is no one can beat that there is no one can take that out of you you have that power what is that developing the wisdom by your own mind with your own abilities so if you able to think about it rather than becoming busy with this other things it is okay you know we have to do that things also but deeply have a little faith just for you to be a better person for your tomorrow so with that i bless upon everyone with this good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patience courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sabbit your vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatantara yo suti diga yuko bhav ब्लेस